All right, as you guys can see, move the uh, Beamer 300 around. We're already doing body work on this. Got the wing on. Right now, I'm still need to bolt it on or whatever. Just taking the trim off right now. Got the first piece. Probably gonna buy a new trim. I don't know if I'm gonna restore that yet, but I'll let you guys know. This needs to be sanded down and everything, but oh, it's gonna take a minute to get all perfect, but here's the first episode. It's gonna be real nice when she's all done. All right, taking this off, this trim. When I say that was the scariest thing I ever did in my life, I swear, I thought it was because like, I thought it was clips, but no, it was just tucked into this little like lip right here and you pulled up on that with some force and she got off. She's dirty, so I'm probably gonna clean this up. Maybe I can like sand these and if not, I'm probably gonna paint them black and if I don't like how they look when they're black, um, I might just order new ones. All right, I'm gonna clean all this dirt with this chemical guys, quick detailer. It smells like bubble gum and it cleans super good. So let's get it. I am also gonna be using this paintbrush because I need to get into these little crevices and stuff and this helps out so much. So now we can actually clean it. Let's go. But I got done cleaning this up as best as I can. It looks pretty good. Not bad, but um, let me look over here. Yeah, I got some sandpaper out. So let's see what we can do. Then we're gonna move on to the other side, see how bad that is. And if they're all bad, I'm just gonna order it. And then I'll show you guys installing them. But let's see what we can do with these. Cause he painted on the rubber too. Like how stupid can someone be? And this is not even like paint, it's like, I don't even know, vinyl paint or some shit like that, but. All right. Um, this is gonna be pretty easy. That's gonna be terrible, but let's see what we can do. And look at me wearing shorts, bro. It's so nice out and it's, I think 12 right now, o'clock at nighttime. So let's get this done. All right, we're gonna start off on the first piece, the little piece. Um, hmm. Let's see what we should go for. No, Scott Brighton gonna do anything. 80 grit. Yeah, let's see if 80 grit can do anything. Actually, come over here. I forgot that I had this thing. So maybe we can put this thing to work. Maybe. See if I can find it. I don't know if I'm gonna use that because that's just gonna kill it, I think. But I don't know. I'm probably gonna buy new ones. If not, I'll sand these down super good and just paint them. But let's see what I got. And on top of that, I also have metal polish right there. And then a few of them are here. So if I can actually get this sanded down pretty good, I'll be able to make it look super nice, super wet. So Paul has no homo, but hopefully this turns out okay. Because I do not know how much these are. Um, I'm guessing probably like a hundred for both, maybe, hopefully, <laughs> I don't know. All right, I'm back from eating so much food, but sand this as much as I could. It's starting to get a little tiring, so just put a fresh new 80 pad on there. And uh, let's do as much damage as we can to that, I guess. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Two seconds of just that and it did so much so let's carry on with that because that's actually working a lot better than what the hand did because this does not work <laughs> at all but that kind of surprising not gonna lie damn all right let's carry on i'm gonna catch you guys back when i'm actually done with this all right just like that we got pretty much all of it i'm gonna go over it with a thousand real quick wherever it is and then polish it maybe go sand it see how she looks um the only reason i might have to get new ones is because this right here i don't know what the last guy was thinking bro like jesus after being all polished up and sanded it actually turned out pretty good you can tell compared to the really good one it looks pretty decent 
and I actually like it a lot with all the um with the polish and actually being sanded with 800 then 1200 but the bad news is there's no way I'm gonna be able to fix this right here so I'm gonna go take off the other side then I'm gonna take you guys upstairs to my room and then we are gonna go shopping for some um trim pieces for 91 twin turbo 300 x <laughs> god this car smells so good put that leather mm, amazing but let's take this off and yeah like i was saying you guys can tell from right here my boost gauge is in but then my afr is broken and then um my other one's broken which is kind of kind of crappy but all right so for this one you're gonna go to the edge right here and you're just going to stick a screwdriver in it, pop it up, and then just don't break it. Don't be stupid, you know. And then I'll show you guys how to take off the other side. All right, once you got that side off, you got to go to the second clip over here and just pry it just a little bit. Let's take this off now. Boom. You really do this side with one hand, but same thing goes with this. You just pry that from this side right here. And then once you get a, enough pride, you can just pull it all off because it's just one big thing. So let's do that and I'll be back with you guys. All right. Right when you hit our first thump, you can just go down the line and then just get her going. Boom. Let me tell you the first time, like I said, I thought they were all clips. Heard that thump. I mean, if you were here. You probably hear my heart thump too, cause I <laughs> got so scared. Oh shit! Just stepping on random ass stuff. All right, let's expect inspect. How bad these are? Yep. Just a, look at this. Oh, um, both. Yeah, both pretty bad. It was polish. <laughs> but yeah, this is right. Yeah, nah. These two are so bad, man. It makes me kind of depressed that. Someone would do this. Someone would do something like this. So with 300, where'd the other one go? What the hell? All right, well, that's another reason I didn't buy a new one because I lost my other one. But nah, here it is right here. Both of them terrible. Plus, once I get that polished look, it's gonna be so sick. I just can't wait for this car to be done. Jeez. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Turbo game, yes, sir. Yep. All right, um, I'm gonna clean that side real quick. Then I'm gonna head to my room. And I'm gonna go shopping with y'all. Look how good this light is, perfect. All right, let's check on the dirt. Yep, and that's what you get for owning a 30 year old car. I'm not complaining though. All right, let's uh, let's go get this done. Ooh, damn. The mirror all messed up, but yep. Get all this dirt that's on the mirror as well. And just like that, all cleaned up. Alright, now it is time. I'm gonna clean the rest of this stuff up, put everything back in its place, and then time to go upstairs and buy some new window cover seals, whatever you want to call it, trim pieces, so they can look like this again. <laughs> Alright, boys, I found some. On Concept Z2, wait for it, $600, and it's a 2 by 2 bro, oh my god, I've been looking everywhere, man, this sucks, jeez, I have like, wait, what about this, out of stock, of course, damn, this would have been perfect. Dude, damn, that kind of bums me out, oh my god, none of this would work, obviously not, damn, I can't fix mine, but the rubber on it's actually broken, not like it's chipping away because it's dry rotted, which that sucks even more, damn, there it is. Either I can go to Junker and find one, or I can 
just keep searching, see if I get anything. I'll keep you guys updated. Dude, this thing is so smooth. Like, jeez. I still gotta sand it, like, sand it more, but so far, so good. Very nice. And look at that. Jeez. Super good compared to the big hole I had on it. Super happy with how this turned out. Let's I go. I did do a little bit more sanding. It's like the next day and I wanted it to be like perfectly smooth and there was like a little bump so I had to get that out. But now it just looks like perfect and before it was all wiggly. Now it doesn't wiggle because I tightened the bolts, put new bolts in. Man, now it's time to sand the rest of the car. I'm hype for that. Let's get it, boys. You guys have no clue how hype I am for this car to be done. It's going to be so dope. I do want to get carbon fiber hood. Obviously, I'm going to paint over this one, fix it all up. And then when I get the money for it, I'm just going to put one on. New front bumper, I'm probably going to get before I paint it. New side skirts, obviously, I'm going to get before I paint it. And then diffuser to go along with the wing to make the back end aggressive. And then she should be good. I don't know which front bumper I'm going to get yet, though. Um, The Gretti, that's way too aggressive for this. It's not going to be a stance car. It's going to be more of a, a street car, you know? So I'm thinking about a JDM spec one or a Twins Design one. But both in the same price range. Cannot wait for this thing to be done. Just because the orbital um, sander is inside there. And obviously I'm going to use that for the whole car. But right now it's 1 o'clock in the morning. So I'm probably going to end the video here. Next video, if not the one after that, will be me putting the new trim on when I get it. And then the whole car should be sanded next video. I'll sand the whole car with you guys, obviously. And yep. I don't know what paint to do, or what color to do yet. Obviously a dark color. I'm thinking about black, and then when you look at it in the sun, probably a blue, red, or purple. I don't know which one I'm going to choose yet, but it'll be dope. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.